All right, guys, before I start this video, I do want to say one thing um, in regards to the giveaway competition, guess the guild name thing that I did the other day. Um, so basically, what I didn't really take into account for was that because I say server 39 after in my outro every single time, somebody could have just made an account gone to server 39, checked out whatever guild name, that was probably the number one guild that it started with an S and then found that out and then commented on it. So the, the, the man, it got, people commented to the channel like really, really quickly. And the, But the first person to do it was Mars India. So um, congrats to you, congrats to you my man. Um, please do message me back to find out if you want like a Google Play card or um or a itunes gift card because whichever one um i'll be able to message you uh and give you the code so you can redeem it and uh you know a win your prize so um you don't i i if you don't message me back though in like the next i would say next week um I'm probably going to hold like either a second competition or go to the next quickest person to um, who guessed it because I don't, I don't want to have a, I don't want to, what's the word, I don't want to hold a giveaway and not actually give anything away because that'd be like, just like, hey, I'm begging for likes, you know, just drop a like and I'll do a giveaway kind of thing, you know what I'm saying, so, um, but uh, yeah, just message me, um, I'll, uh, I'll put my my line ID and um, Facebook messenger thing in the description. So um, please do message me from that. But uh, other than that, um, here we go right into the video. All right, guys, my name is Faints, and uh, it has been a while since we have last done a PvP match video. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to be doing looking at, looking at some two more. Excellent PvP matches. Um, I don't know if they're going to still be in the chat. There's one. Okay, yeah. So we only got one. Um, but the other one is in the uh, is in the replay section. So I'm going to watch this one first because it's easier to get to. And then the second one, I will go and show you that one after, uh, after we finish. So um, when I first saw this guy's team, I honestly only saw like two or three megas and i was like up oh, all right easy win right um don't read the message that i said because that kind of gives it away uh <laughs> but uh here we go so he starts off with palkia and i knew that this guy was gonna be a problem from the start so uh i had to do something right so i was expecting him to go toxic but he didn't um he swapped out and i swapped out as well and so i was like all right he's got a fighting type i'm a steel type he's probably gonna go fighting move right so i swapped the giratina and he ends up going um uh, he ends up going ice punch after the swapping so um i hit him with that aura sphere it does some decent damage um and i'm like all right maybe he has a ghost type i didn't really see if he did or not so i was like all right i'll go shadow force instead and um he ended up going with palkia which i was kind of happy with um, because I wanted, I, I wanted to get as much damage off as I could on this thing. Um, but he ended up going Spatial Rend, which actually did fairly decent amount of damage for um, Steelix resisting it. Um, but uh, he ended up having Aura Sphere and taking me out before I could get a Taunt up. So I was kind of frustrated with that. But it didn't look like he had Toxic because he hasn't used it yet. So I was like, alright, I'll go Toxic. And then um, I'm going to do, I think, a Shadow Force... Uh, oh, wait, never mind. It didn't matter because he took me out, but I was planning on doing a Shadow Force just in case he swapped out to something that um, uh, was immune to Toxic. So, um, I go, uh, I I think he swapped, right? Yeah, he swapped into that Toxic, um, which is kind of unfortunate for me because I really wanted to like, Toxic that, um, uh, that uh, Palkia, but um, I was like, all right, Green Tyranitar, that's a great opportunity for myself to set up. Right, and I was like, all right, maybe um, I'm just gonna go substitute because it doesn't. He doesn't seem to be doing that much damage, and I also have my leftover, so I set up that substitute. And instead of taking it out, he ended up swapping. So I ended up having like a free, um, what's it called? I ended up having a, a 
free setup there which um wasn't necessarily changing the ties but i mean uh it definitely put me up for once <laughs> in this uh in this fight because i'm down two and he's up six or he has six <laughs> um so i got to take out that milo tick though which i was pretty happy with um because i knew that that was a threat to my guard chomp and here i knew that this thing had um i knew that this thing had uh what's it called um, ice punch and but I was like oh, psh, easy money I'm gonna outspeed it right and he ended up being faster so it must have been like a speed up or something max speed I've used I don't know um, but uh, that's how that went I got I got uh, my guard job taken out and I was like well so much for the setup um, oh wait wait now that I think back to it was it a quick call maybe I'm not too sure but um all right so he says in the Palkia I go thunder um, kind of expecting it and luckily I got the paralysis the only downside of that was that um, I no longer could toxic him anymore, so I was kind of frustrated with that, but uh, he hits me with that Thunderbolt, and I was like, hmm, maybe I could go, uh, maybe I could go, what's it called, um, Zapdos, thank you, <laughs> I, was, I was like, maybe I can go Zapdos, and I'll get a free boost, but instead, he um, swapped out as well to that Lucario, um, which really was a major problem, and I thought he was going to swap instead of fighting me so um i toxic and i was like ah so it, it just looked like i was being stupid there <laughs> um but oh my gosh that that close combat was like oh oh my god like I, I that did a lot more damage than i expected it to do um but so unfortunately my um thunder didn't take him out and because he was faster i had to swap um into my lugia because i knew that flying resists Fighting type, so I was like, alright, sweet, he's going to hit me with a close combat, I'm going to be good, right? I hit him with the ice beam to take him out, because I didn't want to waste any more of my um, arrow blast. Actually, I don't think I used any. Um, yeah, I did not use any at this point, but I was like, alright, here we go. He's probably going to go Thunderbolt, right? So I got a roost up, because um, if I roosted, then I knew that I would be, um, I would uh, resist the Thunderbolt, and I'd also be at full health with the multi-scale, so he's going to do very little damage. But um, here I was, ba I was basically um, just kind of wasting down the uh, the leftovers and the roost. I, it was just a major stall, even though it wasn't a toxic stall. So uh, I was kind of just hoping for the best because I'm like roosting. Please don't crit. Thank you. And, and it just was kind of that cycle. So I was also really hoping that he wouldn't paralyze me because that would have been super unfortunate. Um, but uh, I get myself back to a hundred. Um, well, man, I'm thinking Fortnite terms here, <laughs> hundred hundred. Um, but uh, no, I, I got back up to full health, and um, and uh, I am able to hit him with another attack. Um, but I think I saw that I was running low on Arrow Blast, and I had a feeling that he was going to start trying to um, trying to take away my Arrow Blast. So I was like, all right, so I'm going to toxic this Tyranitar, and then after I toxic him, um, eventually I'm going to have to swap out to the. Uh, to the uh, Kyogre, right? So he swaps out to Palkia, and um, here, let me pause really quick. So basically, he tormented me, right? So if you don't know what that does, it makes sure it makes sure that you don't use the same move consecutively. So like, I can't do Roost twice in a row, and I can't do Arrow Blast twice in a row. So basically, I was kind of like, all right. Um, so I'm gonna need to be swapping up my moves here, which kind of it wasn't that bad. Um, in the in the end, but um, I mean, it was kind of annoying to having to constantly switch. But um, one thing that he kind of backfired, kind of backfired on his part, is that he had leftovers on his Palkia, right? But having that sandstorm up um, nullified the leftovers, so he had no uh, source of recovery, which was fantastic. It really, really helped me out. And um, and I think he swaps here because that Palkia is like the re like the only way that he would be able to win <laughs> win this match but um i pretty much stalled this rushy ram out um because you know i really i didn't want to uh, i couldn't i couldn't use the same move multiple times in a row you know with the whole torment situation honestly i was waiting for the torment to wear off after like five turns or whatever but it ended up lasting like the entire time that my uh, my Lugia was out there, so I was kind of like stuck in just stuck in that predicament, which was really annoying. Um, but uh, yeah, I pretty much just toxic stall. Um, I had to throw out some toxics and uh, uh, roost as well, like that were just pointless. 
Um, but I had I couldn't do like the same move twice, and I didn't want to waste any more PP for my um, Ice Beam or Arrow Blast. So I was kind of just doing like pointless stuff at this point. But then he had Roost, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is dragging on for even longer, right? And so I was like, dang, so this is just going to take a long time. I hope that I have enough PP for the rest of this game, right? So I'm like, oh man, this is this is going to come down to be close, right? But the uh, Poison takes him out, and I have the Latias left. And I'm like, all right, I think I took the Barry out already. No, I did not. Okay, so, oh my gosh. So he starts putting up double teams. So I'm like, oh no, this is terrible, right? So he is guaranteed two double teams, and I'm like, wow, because I have because of that torment, and I'm like, oh, okay. So I literally need a 90 uh, hit or 90 accuracy move to hit when he has two double teams up already, and it was just like, come on, come on, come on, please hit, please hit, and it ended up hitting, and I was so happy. Because he also had recover, so I, I knew that if he got a bunch of double teams up, um, I would just be I would just be done for. But I'm assuming this was just a staller set where it was like recover, um, a double team, and then toxic, and then maybe like an attacking move. But I don't think I saw the attacking move the the whole game. It might have it might have had like another status move or something. But um, so oh call mine, that's what it was. So like. It really just, it was just a crazy set. So that's why he ended up swapping out um, uh, when my guard chop had that substitute up. But I hit him with that, uh, I hit him with that thunder. I, I had to swap out because I was done with that torment. I was like, man, if I want to win this thing, I need to get this, get rid of this torment, right? And so I got rid of it. And all he had left was the Tyranitar and the Paralyzed Palkia. I took out the Palkia and I hit it, hit the Tyranitar with the Scald and that was game that was so, that was crazy that was honestly a really long one but oh my gosh lugia came in so clutch there um as you probably saw if you looked back at what i said in the chat but here we go let's go down to the uh battle record and we can scroll down i believe it's this one uh yes 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 so he has Gardevoir, which uh, I honestly thought was going to be like no big deal. Like I was like, Psh, okay, Gardevoir, you know, like Hypnosis, uh, Psychic, you know. But I completely underestimated uh, this Gardevoir. Like this thing was strong, you know. They had the Confusing Spoon. And it also, it must be like really, really strong with Special Attack. I haven't really looked into um, a Mega Gardevoir, but um, man, like it was crazy. So... Uh, it hits me with that uh, psychic and takes out my guard chomp. So I'm like, well, great. What am I gonna do now? So right, I put in my Giratina. I go for the Shadow Force, you know, um, thinking that that's gonna be the best situation. Um, and I actually got a crit on that guard chomp, which I was really, really lucky to get. And um, and so I had a bunch of damage on him, and I was like, all right, that's sweet. But he does have a um, Swords Dance up, so that's kind of unfortunate, right? So I'm thinking, all right, I. Probably can withstand something with my multi scale from the Lugia. Hit him with the Ice Beam, and that'll be the Purple Guard Chomp taken care of. But he has Snorlax with Thick Fat. I'm probably going to save up for, he's probably saving up for the um, Mega Snorlax that I think he's recently come out. Um, but I was like, well, shoot, okay, he hit me with a Fire Punch, got to swap, right? So I, I take out, or I take my um, Kyogre, I put him in, and um, I nullify the Fire Punch with the. What is it called? Ability. Um, I don't know. But he hits me with <laughs> he <laughs> he hits me with the body slam, and I'm like, oh man, that did a a that did a lot of damage, and b it has a really high um, percent of taking out my berry, and I really don't want that to happen. But I, I was ended up being at four thousand health, and I'm like, man, this really isn't a lie, and I need this Kyogre to tank, you know. So um, he throws out the Gallade. I'm like, all right. It's going to be great. I, I'm going to take this thing out maybe, um, hopefully out speed. But I didn't take it out, and I also uh, got taken out from that Leaf Blade. But So he ended up getting the Quick Claw, and I was like, oh, God. Uh, I don't know if it really mattered or not, but um, he ended up uh, only doing a really little bit of damage. I thought it was going to be a lot more, but it ended up not <laughs> um, because I guess that multi skill really is good. Um, but uh, he, I'm like, all right, I'm probably just going to go uh, – 
Steelix here because I didn't want to take an, an, uh, an Ice Punch because that's what I was expecting, but he ended up hitting me with a Toxic, which is actually kind of lucky um, because it made it look like I predicted that, which I really didn't, but it made me look good, you know, so <laughs> so um, that was pretty good, but I was like, all right, hopefully I can take out this Garchomp, um, but I, I didn't, I wasn't able to do that, but I really wanted to um, keep my Steelix there, and I was expecting him to hit me with another, um, another Earthquake, so I was like, all right, I'll just swap out here and um and nullify or uh not nullify but like be i was immune to that earthquake so i swapped to the lugia was immune to that and i was like all right um he if he goes ice punch or if he goes um if he goes toxic um steelix is going to be the best bet right and so we ended up taking out my steelix which was all right i, I was happy with how he did you know um, uh, but, uh, I was, I was pretty happy with the performance, <laughs> um, but, uh, here we go, Zapdos versus Zapdos, I was like, all right, um, I gotta take out that, to uh, that, um, what's it called, the, uh, I had to take out the Miracle Berry, which I did, but I, I got lucky with that light screen, um, because, uh, it was kind of a waste of a move, in my opinion, but, and he sends in this guard where I'm like, oh. Now this Gardevoir again, right? And this taunt just screws me over. Like, I know what it does, but I just, I don't know. I'm like, all right, I could probably go for a Roost because I wasn't going for Toxic, you know? And I usually use Taunt to prevent people from going Toxic or, like, Swords Dance, but, like, I totally forgot that, like, Roost wasn't an attacking move, you know? <laughs> Sounds kind of stupid, but oh well. Um, but I was like, all right, Lugia, all up to you, my man, you know? So he ends up critting... Um, the Gardevoir with that Aeroblast, and I was like, oh man, that's really lucky. And I didn't want to Toxic the Gardevoir because I know that it has um, the ability Magic Bounce or uh, either Magic Bounce or like Synchronize to so where like if he gets poisoned, then I get poisoned, and that was the last thing that I wanted to happen. So um, so I keep just stalling it out, um, uh, getting as much health as I can for the rest of the battle, right? And I hit him with the Ice Beam to finish him off, and I was... And I was surprised, I'm surprised now because I thought I finished him, that uh, it didn't kill him, or it didn't finish him off, so I was like, well, shoot, you know, um, that's unfortunate, so now I had to go through the whole roof cycle again, get as much health as I possibly could, but I was like, you know what, I'm just going to take this thing out, and I had Zapdos um, and Garchomp left, or I think the Garchomp left, right? So I'm like, all right, this Zapdos, all right, I already took out the berry, so I can toxic the Zapdos, and it'll be good, right? He does that, um, what's it called again, the light screen, and I, I am able to um, get that toxic off, right? And I'm like, all right, please live the Thunderbolt. I live that first one. I know I'm a little behind, but I live that first one, right? And I'm like, okay, I have him toxic. Don't crit me. That's all I need, right? Because I'm, I'm getting, I'm regaining health slowly, but if he crits me, then I'm done, you know? Like, I have no chance, I'm done for. And he does it, and I'm in the yellow, so I meant, that means that I gained health over time rather than getting crit. I was so happy. I was like, no way. Did my Lugia just pull this up? This is insane. <laughs> and all he had left was a guard shop, and I was like, perfect. If he doesn't have Rock Slide and doesn't flinch me, I'll be good. He only had Dragon Claw, and I was like, yes, I'm going to live it. I lived it. And then I hit him with the ice beam, took him out. That was game. I was like, oh my gosh, that was it. Everything just fell into place. It was perfect. It was so, so good. But that is going to be the episode there, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you get if you did, be sure to slap that like button. If you are new, please do subscribe. It'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. Oh my gosh. Um, I forgot about the uh, giveaway thing, but I'll just put that in the beginning, uh, make a little segment for that. But um, yeah, guys, other than that, my name is Faints. On behalf of, oh, I, I'm going to say on behalf of Shadow Guild, it's, man, that sounds weird, um, <laughs> Server 39, but uh, my name is Faints, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.